Hi there, I'm back now, had a little bit of a rest and I wanted to do some video for you um, using heat transfer paints. Sadly, of, well not sadly but um, I'm still waiting for the boxes so hopefully they'll arrive this week because I sent a lot of stuff back um, so that I wouldn't have to carry it all. Um, but I have got some bits and pieces to show you so I'm going to do that today. Right, so first of all I want to cover, ah, oh, right, so first of all I've had quite a few questions about um, the black, the black ink and uh, it coming out maybe not as black as it should. So what I've explained to those people is it really does depend on the type of paper you're using. Now for all the colours I normally use copier paper. However, I've done two coats on these uh, two sheets. This is on plain copier paper. This is two coats on that. And then on some cards that I bought from Hachanda, it's, uh, it was on the um, Good Morning Hachanda. And it's, uh, it, I think it was the super smooth paper. Now there's also two coats on that. So that just shows you the difference. There's two coats on both of those sheets. The copier paper is more absorbent, so it's absorbing more of the colour. Uh, this is a coated cardstock, so for your black, I'd really recommend a, a coated card. Um, and also, I'd only do the amount you need, rather than doing great big sheets of, of uh, black, just do the amount you need. So, I mean, you can quite clearly see the difference of those two. Uh, let's do it like that, yep. So you can, and that's two coats of each. Uh, when you do your first coat, you need to leave it to dry completely. Don't use a heat gun because it will activate it and it won't work when you get on your project. It needs to be left to dry naturally on its own before you do the next coat. If you if you do it too fast over, all you're doing is uh, it will water down the ink underneath and it will just move it all around. So you need to let it dry thoroughly. So that just shows you the difference. All the other colours are fine on copier paper. If you're doing your marbling technique, all the colours are fine on the copier paper. But the black, you really do, for a strong black, you do need to use that. Now, saying that, uh, someone got in touch with me about the black and they'd use the ultramarine, ultramarine instead of a black. So that's another way of doing it. But personally, I'd stick with your black for your lettering unless you want another colour and uh, do your two coats. If you, if you use the coated cardstock, that's all you're going to use because the, the ink will sit on the surface. This is a gorgeous uh, smooth card from Ajanda. I think it was 200 sheets for, I think, 9.99 or something. I mean, it was it's pence, you know, per sheet, so that's really good. So next I want to tell you about the lettering. So for the project I'm going to show you today, I'm just going to write Nick. I thought it's an easy one. So I'm using the Retro Alpha dies. Um, I won't cut them for you now, I've, I've stuck them on my sheet but I just wanted to explain to you how you do the lettering so that it's the right way around. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'll just have a drink. Right, so, so it's the right way around, I put the letters I need onto my uh, piece of masking tape, take the black sheet and turn it over. It sounds simple, but I've done it so many times, I've gone straight ahead and I've taped it onto the black. What you do is you tape it face down onto your white side of your card, like so. Run it through your machine, and then what you do is you'll get the, it will be back to front, exactly how you want it. So all you need to do is take your letters, stick them white side down so the black side's facing up, which I'll show you in a second and that is automatically the wrong way round and it will transfer perfectly. If you do it on the black side all your letters are going to be the correct way round so when you stick them onto your project they're going to come back and transfer the wrong way round. So just to repeat that when you've got your black or your colour that you're doing for your lettering or whatever or anything else that you want to be turned around the reverse you turn your sheet over and cut on the white side so you're cutting on the wrong side of what you want to do very similar for any of you that do parchment you know you do that similar so 
what I've got here is I've got a lovely piece of marbling that I've done and here we have Nick which I've cut on the white side stuck the white side down and this will mean when I put it onto my project it will be the right way round so what I've got here is I've got a little sublimation uh, coated uh, key ring so I thought I could have a nice key ring so I've just drawn around the outside none of that will be transferred so any notes any markings any measurements that you want to put on you're fine to use them on there because they won't transfer to your project so if you want to use a pencil or something to mark out so you've got spacings right all that is fine it won't transfer to your project sorry there's horrible flies here it's been so hot the last couple of days so what I'm going to do is place my keyring onto my project turn it over now I've got this on a bit of board the scrap board that I've uh, that I'm using I'm going to get a piece of masking tape because this is quite small and just tape that down just so it doesn't move on my project and I've got a piece of copy of paper here uh, to cover that usually I'd use grease proof but I'm not going to bother so I've got my regular iron because I haven't got a machine here so I want to show you how easy it is with an iron hopefully I can chat for the minutes while we're uh, chatting away so that's all I'm going to do is iron away exactly the same if you're doing a mug um, if you're doing um, a t-shirt anything you're doing you can just iron away I'm just hoping this works out alright it usually does but you know now I'm on the old YouTube it's probably not going to work right you have to excuse the iron this is my craft iron that I use for all sorts so so there you go um, I can see that you're all having wonderful fun with the heat transfer paints. The the show that I did, obviously it was mainly for my Regal Rose collection um, and I just wanted to test the water with the paints. Um, they're, they're amazing paints and I'm so glad that they've been branded under Craftscope because you know, you know me, I do always want to bring you the best. I, I've used these uh, transfer paints for a long time now. Um, Catherine, who makes them, fantastic lady. She she's been so pleased with the uh, with the sales and how well the shows went and everything. So I'm really pleased. So I've had a word with uh, Katie, my um, buyer at Hachanda, and they uh, they've given me dedicated shows now. So when I come back, I'm going to launch my new uh, product my new goodies, my new collection and then I'm going to also have some shows uh, dedicated to the heat transfer paint so I'm going to show you a lot more. Uh, what I've done this time, I didn't want to just go straight in and bombard you with loads of things, I wanted to do it slowly, I want you to get used to the paint so I didn't want to go into the heat, uh, the prefix uh, too much or the thickener because I want you to all get used to the actual paints themselves first, see how concentrated they are, make sure you're not wasting them, because this is the biggest thing, is people going to be wasting their paints. I'm going to show you as soon as my things come, um, you know, just how little you use again, because I can't reiterate how little you use of it, a few drops on your marbling, I know there's a lot of people that have been sharing pictures, which is great, because they obviously get in the hang of it straight away, but there are are people, and you know that are that need a little bit more guidance, and I'm quite happy to do that. I want you to be completely 100% happy with with what you get when you get them home. Sorry, I can't bear flies. They really make me not very. No, I don't like them. So, yeah, I want you to get 100% used to the colours. Take it easy. Take. Don't go straight in with a really lovely project. Do something really simple. A marbling. Uh, get your marbling done. Um, uh, get your sheets done, painting, uh, if you stamp an image onto copy of paper with the black and then just colour it in with a paintbrush, leave it to dry, I'd leave it, I'd honestly leave it to dry overnight if I was you, but that's personal, oh this is looking nice, I think I've moved it a little bit, so um, I'm 
a little bit disappointed, but hopefully we'll see the reveal together. I don't want to cheat because this is things that are going to happen to you at home. Um, you know, so we'll all do it together. And then if anything goes wrong for me, then you can see and hopefully learn from mistakes I make on camera, and then we'll go go ahead from there. So I think that is enough now. I've done it for what about four minutes ish, four or five minutes. So I think it will be enough. With your heat press, obviously this will be quite a quite a quick thing. I think probably 50, 50 seconds. Um, while we're talking about the heat press, um, on my on my uh, blog I have shared the link. Now I want to tell you once again, I don't get any payment for this. I don't get any commission. I haven't had a reduction on my machine. I've paid £108, which I think that's what it's up for now. I've spoken to the seller and he's quite happy to accept an offer from anyone that goes there from me of £105. Um, I know it sounds a lot of money, but when you think that a branded machine is upwards of about £350, yeah, you don't get all the name on it and you don't get all the lovely super duper name basically because that's the only extra you're getting with that. Uh, you get a basic machine, perfect for the job. You get um, some lovely uh, extras with it. There's the obviously the mug press that attaches. You've got a cap, a flat cap, um, not a flat cap, a baseball cap attachment. You have a plate attachment. You've got... Um, Oh, it's a five-in-one machine. All the details are on there. All I want to share it with you for is because I found that to be a fantastic machine. It does t-shirts, uh, handkerchiefs, uh, fabric for your quilts. Uh, I've got lots to show you as soon as my boxes arrive. I've brought some samples back with me because I wanted to share them in detail. I mean, we get a fantastic on Hachanda that we get the time. Uh, you know, I've got five demos done in both of my shows. <coughs> uh, when I was on a couple of weeks ago <coughs> and that it, that's fantastic but um, you know to be able to go and show you the samples in detail not only of the heat transfer paints but my design team do such a fantastic job and I think uh, it's only fair that I share the um, the, the samples with you um, also I've got some lovely cards that have been sent to me I, if you do want to send me cards it'd be lovely I'll write down the address on a piece of paper in a minute because I would love to see what you do uh, if you want to send me a card here it's always love to, lovely to get it um, and obviously I'll share them here they'll go on my craft wall which as soon as I get a lot of cards I will start to film out there as well in my craft room and show you uh, what how, how it's looking because uh, I think it's uh, you know it's nice you know I love to see you work on Facebook but there's nothing better than having a card sent to you is there so that would be uh, something. I know you're probably itching to see the key ring now, aren't you? So uh, I'll uh, quickly just write this down and do it just while I think of it. Nine. Right, so here is my name and address. Obviously it's Bulgaria. It's Nick Roberts, STR 6th, number 7, Garvan, Silistra, five seven eight nine so if you want to send any cards uh, it'd be lovely to have them I'll show them on here uh, with everyone so obviously don't send any if you don't want me to show them on face uh, on the uh, YouTube but um, I would like to share all your work that you send me so there you go and then that's Bulgaria so let's get on and see what this uh, this um, keyring looks like so I won't have a look at it before you do, so let's just peel that off, uh, turn it round, and please, please, please. Ah, there we are. So, so there it is. Lovely little key ring. Uh, the words have come out the right way. Um, and as you see on the other side, there they are. Now, don't throw this away because uh, you can either peel off the letters and use it again. Um, you will get another print. It will be a lot lighter. But just try it out uh, because you do... I mean, this is I love this. You know, all this, this gorgeous uh, marbling. 
and um, I was looking through some of the marbling uh, that I'd done before. Just want to maybe show you a few. I'm not going to show you all of them because look, you can see there's like 250 here. But uh, let's see if I can just quickly show maybe something that's. Uh, I saw a lovely piece this morning, and I actually like to put these just on a piece of uh, fabric sometimes and use it as a, you know, maybe for a quilt or a cushion cover. Um, let's do it. Uh, I'm not very good at this because it all seems back to front to me to get to you. So um, some of them, some of them. This is interesting. I'll show you this one because if you look how dull that looks, and yet there's lots of patterning through it, you can see in real life. Now this you might pass by and think, oh, I'm not, I don't really want to waste any fabric that, but. You know, you'd be surprised at just how gorgeous those ones look. So never overlook anything, even if you're just using a small piece of it. Now, for camera, obviously, the best ones are going to be the ones that, you know, that have the really gorgeous patterning. You know, so this is just using monochrome, just using one of the colours, um, and you can see gorgeous patterns through them. I mean, you're going to do this at home, so it's probably stupid me even showing you them. But there was one that I did particularly want to show you because it's uh, it's what you see in it. It was uh, I'm hoping soon or maybe next year <coughs> to bring you. I shouldn't say it really to bring you a special pencil and uh, the pencil you can draw with. Um, at the moment there is the uh, mapping pen you can use, which is uh, I bet you haven't got one here. No, a cheat, but you see this, uh, the Pergamano from Clarity, obviously, uh, they do one exactly the same as this, and it has a, a nib on it, it's a dip pen, um, and you can use these for doodling on your page, so when you find a lovely pattern, I'm just going to quickly, excuse me for doing this, but I'm just going to see if I can't find one that I found earlier, because it was just amazing, you might not even... I should have kept it out, didn't I? Stupid fool I am. Uh, right, um, I'm not going to find it, am I? I could search through and through and through and not find this. I mean, look at that, that's stunning, isn't it? It looks a mess on there, but you can imagine that behind the rose swag, you know, just uh, put on and then cut out. That would look stunning. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that till next time and show you. Um, show you what I mean with that because I don't want to waste time because I've got quite a bit that I want to show you today and talk to you about. Um, so we've done the, done the key ring. So obviously if you want to pop off you're welcome but I'm going to be here still for a little while to show you other things. So that's the key ring done. I'll just quickly show you that unless you've just tuned in. So I, I just get so excited with it, all of it. So that's the key ring. Let's have a look next. So next, this is another piece of marbling. This is, uh, you know, usually what I start with is uh, when I start the marbling, I don't move the colours around too much. So I take my first print and then scrape it off of the ruler and plonk it back in. And then you sometimes get like little caves and things that, that and little interest things that are there. And then lay it down again and pick up another print. Lay it down, pick up another print. So what I'm going to do now is a, a coaster. So with the coaster, I mean, the best thing to do is sort of move your coaster around and think, oh, you know, where am I going to use it? Ideal way of using your packaging. Get your coaster, put it onto a piece of old packaging, draw around it and cut it out, and then use that to work out the lovely pattern you want on the, uh, on the coaster. So here I think I want to use this really lovely bright area here, so I'm just going to put put it down. I won't do it perfectly this time. Sorry to hide it on the camera or behind the piece of paper. So we just take it away. Because as I said before, you know sometimes you don't need anything else on, on the um, on the actual item you're doing, sometimes the ba oh here comes the monkey, come on then. I knew you'd come along, you cheeky chops. Right, so I've just uh, done my coaster, plop it down, a little bit of masking tape again, J 
just to hold that in place. I just think it's just safe to do that. Get a piece of my copier paper. Oh. Where did I put it? Did anyone see? No. Hopefully that'll be enough. So then we'll just heat the iron up. Are you alright, monkey? Have you come to say hello? Where are you? Just gonna have another drink of my tea, sorry. Right, so just waiting for that to heat up. Um, uh, what else can I do? So let's just think here. Right. So yeah, let's just do the coaster. So as I was saying, yeah, hopefully I'll bring a, a nice pencil for you and try and source that. In the meantime, you can use your mapping pen, as I said, from Pergamano. That's a brilliant pen. I've had one for years. Uh, you can get spare nibs for it. I've, I do a lot of parchment and I use it a lot for other things as well, not just parchment. And I've still got the same pen. So, I mean, they're quite quite inexpensive to buy. Uh, Pergamono, as you know, is a good, a good company and run by, uh, now by Clarity as well. So great pen. Uh, SAA do one as well, uh, which I've been trying to get hold of for a long time, but every time I want to get it, it seems to be out of stock. So hopefully I'll get that one day. So the iron's ready. <coughs> um, no steam, which I forgot to tell you before. No steam, hottest setting that whatever you're using is gonna take. So for uh, your fabrics is mainly the difference, you know, so, uh, you know, keep an eye on your fabric, so the hottest it will, it will take. Obviously monkey don't want to come and see us today, just wants to meow at the door. So uh, just heating, heating this up, and again we've got to talk for, what, five minutes. But if you've got the press, if you're lucky enough to get the press, then couple of minutes I mean it's great for gifts you know uh, great for gifts you'd probably pay for pay for the press in next to no time after you know maybe a couple of mugs or whatever and, and then you've, you've paid for it <coughs> uh, while I say about the mugs again I've put a link on my blog for the mugs they're, they're actually sublimation mugs so they are coated uh, the heat transfer paints turn into a gas and they'll actually fuse with the, the glaze that's on there um, so they are dishwasher safe. You can use uh, regular, but obviously I can't guarantee that they're going to be dishwasher safe or uh, things like that. These are all things that I wanted to uh, talk to you about and this is why I've done the video. I'm planning on doing quite a lot of videos for the heat transfer paints over the next few months. So if you have any questions, if you leave them below, um, because each... Uh, time I get a collection of comments then I'm going to take them forward and then I'll bring cover anything I can on the next show. Um, lots of people are going to have lots of um, lots of uh, questions so I want to hear what you what you want to it's no good me talking for an hour or talking for 50 minutes on things I think you might want to know when there's things that you you want me to tell you so So it's best if you if you can leave your messages below. Anything you know, any problems, any any uh, thing that seems to be going wrong, um, anything you're not happy with, um, any advice, any tips and hints that you can share. Because you know, obviously, uh, you know there there are a lot of other people that are new to this as well. So any hints and tips you've got, share share them. I know. Some people share, some people tend to keep things to themselves, but you know, it's always nice to share with everyone. But I'm just going to have a quick peek at this, because I'm impatient. I know we haven't been there uh, the right amount of time, but... Oh no, I've moved it anyway. Bugger. Oops, sorry. Well actually, I'm going to take it off now because I've moved it. We've got a nice colour on there, but... Um, probably not as deep as it would have been normally, but it's still quite nice. So there we have... Oh gosh, that's hot. Whew. So I show you, you've got some. You've got a lovely pattern on there. It's just a shame I was too impatient and moved it. So here we've got like a really gorgeous yellow and green and blue. And where the colours have mixed, you've got a third and fourth colour as well, which is really lovely. So that looks really nice. I hope you think so too. Look, if I, it's not always best to. I'm gonna have to put it down in a minute because it's burning my fingers. All right, monkey. 
There we are. So that's one of them. That's quite nice. I, and you know me. And there you go. Again, don't throw this away. Cut some flowers out of it. Um, use it in your mixed media projects. You know, nothing, nothing is wasted. I mean, you've got some lovely rich colours on there. Uh, you know, you can see, you can see how lovely that would have been if I'd have been a little bit, impa bit a little bit less impatient. Um, you know, the the richness would have come out a lot more, um, and the pattern. But never mind. You know, swings and roundabouts, isn't it? I would have put it back on, but there's no way I'm going to place that back on now. Um, like that. <coughs> so I have got another one, but I want to do something else first. And then, if you don't want to stay, you, you're welcome to 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 go. So, um, I the I just want to run through the collection of my uh, my stamps again because I'm going to do the prize draw. It's very late, I know, but um, things have gone wrong and it's not been a good month and what have you. Um, but I did promise uh, that I'd do the draw. Uh, at the show and I didn't get a chance to so I'm sorry so this is your prize so you've got the Princess uh, Elizabeth uh, sorry uh, Princess Elizabeth Lady Marjorie and oh dear, I'm going mad aren't I you've got Princess Victoria Lady Marjorie and Lady Elizabeth so you've got the three large stamp sheets um, next we have the Rose Cathedral die set and the uh, the bouquet die set as well. I love them. I, if you didn't see my show, I can sh uh, you can see how you can attach parchment, card, anything, using the new uh, way that I've designed the dies so that you can slip them under without the use of glue. Um, so those two are the two uh, dies that you're going to get as well. Uh, then we've got the four stencils, so I've got the tumbling leaves and the flowering quince. These are just, uh, these are stunning on mugs, they're stunning on fabric. Uh, you get a really lovely 3D where I've drawn them from small to large and then from small to large going the other way, you get a really lovely 3D image on that. And then we've got the flowering quince, you can either use it as a whole or pick some out, uh, just pick patches out, they're brilliant. And then I've got the wild roses. Again, um, if you saw the show, I did a made a biscuit and I've just used one and then used it to embroider. And um, that's lovely. You could do a, a whole big piece of fabric like that because it doesn't take long just to run around with a. I don't know what stitch it is, but uh, people that sew out there will know what I mean. Uh, the stitch that you can use. I think it's chain stitch or one of those, and and it looks stunning. Um, and then you've got the leaves as well, the rose leaves, which are, I know they look really simple, but they're quite hard to get to look that real for a stencil, because obviously you've got to leave the gaps and what have you, so the whole thing doesn't fall out, so I was quite pleased with that one. So that's the prize. I think it's all the prize. Yeah, so you've got the three, yeah, so it's about, regular prices, it's about £110, so someone's going to win that. So I've got my big peak cap here, so we're going to give it a good old shake, see who wins, <laughs> right, so, right, so the winner of the whole set is Mary Wilson. I just put the dates on some of them because some of them sedan or uh, just a first name, so I wanted to put the dates so when I look back I can see exactly who's won it. So everyone was in there, as I say, so no cheating. So I'll put that aside, so well done Mary. Um, do me a favour, don't tell Mary, don't share who's won if you watch the video and she hasn't, because I think it'd be a nice surprise for whoever's won it, for Mary to see that she's won. You know, I think that'd be nice. Um, I'll contact her as well in a day or two if she hasn't got in touch with me. So. Going forward, from today's date, any reviews left on the Etsy site again, so any purchases you make, um, and if you leave a review from today's date until my next launch, and you will win the, I won't say what I'm doing, but you will win my new collection, um, which will be 
um, my next visit on the Chandra. I've got a lot of shows on the Chandra. I'm actually going to be there for four days on the trot, so I'm quite looking forward to that. I've got a lot to show you. Um, it will be my last show um, on the Chandra for a while, so um, I'm going to go out with the bang. I will be back, um, but obviously because of the weather here in Bulgaria, I can't travel from about well, December, January and February are completely out of the window, so I wouldn't be able to travel then. So I'm going to go uh, do a real big show when I'm at Chanda next. I've got, as I say, dedicated shows with uh, the heat transfer paints, which is brilliant. I've got a really exciting new launch. The design team are already hard at work with those. Um, yeah, it's special, uh, so I hope you'll really enjoy it. Um, so that's the news then. Oh, I always get to the, I need a list to, to, so I remember the, the things I want to tell you. Yeah, so just to quickly reiterate that, so the competition, or not competition, the giveaway will be any purchases on the Etsy store, if you leave a review, for a truthful review, if you're not happy, put you're not happy. You don't have to say you're happy with the products if you're not. I mean, obviously, I'd rather you came and told me if you don't like them or if there's something wrong or anything then you know I want you to be happy so I'll try and put it right but truthful reviews you know you don't have to be glowing report but you know if you are happy with them and you want to share then you know that's brilliant um, so yeah so uh, I'll do and hopefully the um, the draw won't take as long as it has this time I, I know I promised it uh, was going to be a couple of weeks ago um, so I am sorry about that, but I wanted to get that done today in the first video I share with you. <coughs> um, so yeah, and then you'll win <coughs> the uh, the new thing that I'm bringing. Right, so what should we do? do I'll do another... Um, oh, let me just show you, because this is... Uh, if you missed it, I've got my... Uh, so many people asked for this. Um, it's the retro leaves that I did as dyes for my retro collection. Leone launched this on her um, on her show, uh, so I didn't get to launch it myself. But what I've done here is you've got the retro leaves. They're not the same sizes because I didn't see the point in in repeating something that you can do yourself. So they're different sizes. Um, there's extra leaves in there as well. There's some stitched leaves. There's some lovely shaped leaves here. Um, I've put some circles in there as well so you could use them as centre of flowers. I've done some uh, a solid tree and I've done, well I call them trees because uh, that's what I do, did them for originally. But these are great to like pattern inside, um, part trees, I mean Leonie's shows, uh, for Leonie Lee shows when she launched this was absolutely amazing. Um, they've been incredibly popular. Um, I, I really do love them and there's so much you can do with them don't just look at them as 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 what they are on the packet so 